Alright, so Old Tale Story Part 2 is now available. I'm gonna do 5 today, then 5 tomorrow, then the last 2 the day after. So we can finish the entire story. Look at that. Only red shoes as the, the face broken here. Interesting. Interesting. Is it still a red herring or is this true? I have some suspicions about her for sure. All right, enter. Let's go. It's time to see what's going on. Is that Dorothy? That is Dorothy. Yo, Striker, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. All right, let's do that. Event one out of one. Uh, I do have Grave now, so we're going to put her in the team because why the freak not? Because she's cool, okay? She's cool. You can't stop me. You ain't my mom. You ain't even my real mom. I'm gonna put you, and we're gonna put you. Um, what's the cooldown on her ability actually? T is twenty seconds. Oh, I need to work on her stuff first. Definitely do that tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Uh, but the Rapunzel. <coughs> oh, that's the new Rapunzel. All right, let's level up her stuff to at least level four. Oh, whoops. That was... Oh no, we did. We did good. Alright, everything is level 4. Good. And, uh, so that's 20 second, 20 second. Whatever, whatever. I'll put... You know what? I'll put Rappi here, because she's based. This is basically Red Hood. So it counts, right? Alright, let's go with this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the end. Glass sleepers is shattered, and the party's over. The chiming of the clock rings out loudly. So this is after they beat her. Okay, I was wondering if we were gonna see, like, until then. That's what I was wondering. I was like, are we gonna see what happened between that part and after? Or, um, I was thinking if... Uh, okay, I'm gonna take this back. I was wondering what we we're gonna see, because we know what happens with the fight. But it seems that we are after... The chime of the clock rings out loudly. As if reacting to the sound, Cinderella opens her eyes. What the? Run! Calm down, these restraints are made out of pure titanium. She's not going anywhere. It hurts! Why is she reacting so strongly now that she, when she didn't before? Is it working? There wasn't any reaction until five minutes after the substance was injected. This vapor truly could be a heretic killer. It's remarkable that the bullet made from a substance extracted from the blood has such a pronounced effect. Unbelievable. What exactly is this vapor? The important thing is that this is highly effective against heretics. Research it thoroughly and give me a report. What do you mean by research? We have a test subject right in front of us, and we have the means to manipulate it at will. Do you need me to explain further? What? Where am I? What am I? She's talking! Is she no longer a heretic? No way. Look at those eyes. They are the same as a Nikkei who's been corrupted. Corruption is incurable. Don't believe anything this thing says. Got it. Alright. We can win. If he weaponizes that powers, we can win. What happened to me? Please answer me. Ugh, that hurts! Oh my god, I hate it. What happened to my comrades? What happened to the goddess squad? What happened to the world? The pain! Oh god, I hate it here! How much time has passed? Where is this place? Say something. Please. Shut up! Just shut up! Stop talking and stay quiet! You don't deserve to talk! Do you know how many people you've killed? How many Nikkeis you've destroyed? So many people. It's all because of you. Murderer. Butcher. Traitor. You're a disgrace to the Nikkei name. Humanity's greatest failure. You're a monster. You'll never be able to wash yourselves of these sins for as long as you live. I see. My story has been tainted. 
My story is not beautiful anymore. I'm no longer beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for being weak, for killing, for being alive. I'm sorry. Open this door immediately. <gasps> Abe! Now I will remain still. I won't do anything. Now that my body has been changed. In order to contribute to humanity, even if in the smallest way, I will remain like this. I will close my ears, my eyes, my mouth, and remain still. You bastard! I said open this door! <gasps> Abe! What are you doing to her? Please. I hope that this can atone for my sins. Even if only partially. She turned herself off. She went into sleepy mode. She was like, now nah, I'm good, see ya. Goodbye forever. Thank you, I'm bye. Goodbye forever. Mom, poor Cindy. I thought I thought she was completely destroyed when she was killed. Although heretics regenerate, so that makes sense. It does make uh, sense. Uh, yes, sir. Let's go. You've got a minute. You've got one minute. That's all I can give you. Okay. No speaking of physical contact. All you can do is look. I got it. If you break these rules, we'll have no choice but to intervene using force. How long are you going to keep babbling? How many times do I have to tell you that I got it? What's your name? Who do you report to? I understand all the damn rules and I have no intention of breaking them, so don't say another word to me. Or else I'll call you superior and make your life a living hell. Your authority has been revoked. Would you like to put that to the test? Even if my authority has been revoked, I've got more pull than an entire truckload of your superiors. You've dragged me around and wasted enough of my time already with this red tape. Open the door. Now. The door to the lab opens and a cold chill can be felt. Abe looks at Cinderella hanging on a special made frame. A specially made frame. Abe walks over, she hears the loud protest from the researcher behind her, but pays him no mind. Abe gets closer and looks at Cinderella's face. She opens her eyes and looks at Abe. Cinderella. Abe. Are you back? Hmm. But why are you like this? You fool. If you don't get away from her now, I'll shoot. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Abe starts to fuss with the cables wrapped around Cinderella. Wait, what are you doing? Abe. Dang it, how do you untie this? I said stop! Abe, stop. We're getting out of here. I'll shoot! Beep. Level 1 combat alert. Raptures are coming. What? The research hurriedly pulls out his phone. A large-scale unit of raptors are approaching, including five Terran class. Everyone evacuate. An Achiro is to be disposed of immediately. That's a cue to get out of here. Get up, Cinderella. I'm staying. You can feel guilty and be a guinea pig all you want, but I know you don't want to be captured by the raptors and assimilated again. Snap, snap, snap. As Cinderella moves, the cable wraps around her body breaks. Ah! Glass sleepers, connect. Let's go. Can you stop those things from coming this way? No, not right now. My link with class sleepers is too unstable. Fine, then let's book it out of here. Emergency! The heretic and the cheater has escaped! Keep your pants on, we haven't even taken a single step yet. Requesting backup! It's okay, don't be scared. I won't let you get hurt. Huh? You crazy bastard, what are you shooting for? Die, heretic! You traitor! <laughs> that guy is pathetic. Petite, stop being on my mouse pad. My cat, my old 17 years old cat, keep trying to sit on my mouse pad. She doesn't have a scratch on her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for cutting, burning, stabbing, freezing, and searing you. Please spare me, please, please! Cinderella cautiously walks forward. 
I swear I have no intention of hurting you. Ah, don't come near me! Stay back, you here! I'm sorry! It was all my fault! I don't resent you. I understand how you feel. So that takes another step forward. So... Mommy! He's dead. He just... He couldn't listen to her and he killed himself. What a piece of shit. But... How? Why? I'm not saying that, you know, if you do that to yourself, you're necessarily a piece of shit, but that guy was a piece of shit. And on top of that, he did that because he couldn't fucking listen to her saying she didn't want to harm him in any fucking way. And instead of listening and being protected by her, she, he decided to end himself, which is fucking ridiculous. Considering that he was the one that just tortured her, I can understand him being afraid, but like, that that's such a stupid move. <laughs> What a stupid poo poo head. But I mean, I guess if you get like. I guess he, w he was like. I mean, in a sense, brainwashed into thinking that she's a monster. So, you know, he, he doesn't like. He couldn't even compute something simple that, like, maybe she's not actually going to kill him. Draft is a big anti attack. We've got to run. Run to where? Anywhere. Yeah, I didn't expect we'd get to see the, the 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 aftermath. This is fucking cool. Title, Heretic-like report. The lab in which the heretic was being stored was destroyed by a large-scale rapture unit. 425 casualties, 124 Nikkei unit damage beyond repairs. All internal data of the lab was lost. Special special notes. The heretic and the Chiro escaped. It regained consciousness 32 days before the incident. Conclusion. It has been confirmed that the heretic and the Chiro summoned the raptures using a calling signal. Killed the works inside the lab and escaped. Um, uh, sure. Beyond the cold bluish white mirror, cruel reality is reflected. Okay, let's go look. Back with coffee. Welcome back. Enjoy your coffee. I'm back with the depressing story that is this game. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, this place is all blue now. Some are still red. Interesting, look at that. Red shoes is the one place where it's red. And in story two, Red Shoes is the only one with her head being cracked. If, he sh if she still is a red herring, they're going very hard to try to sell that she's the bad guy, even though she potentially isn't. At this point, like, really everything seems to say, yo, hey, she's evil. But maybe she isn't, who knows? I'd be surprised, but I'm down to clown. I'm down to be proven wrong. Alright, story two. Look at that! Look at that! Everyone is normal. Everyone is fine. Except red shoes. The crack in the mirror originated from this point and this point specifically. <laughs> yeah. You hear? No, I, I'm out of resources. I'm completely out of resources. I did get a copy of Cinderella yesterday. I think you saw that on uh, the Discord. And uh, I just bought... Um, I did just do the the millage ticket exchange to get a grave. But I appreciate your presence, Mr. Flarp. Alright, let's go in here. We got event 1-2. Let's have a look at this. This might just be combat. This is something you can uh, do again and again. How are you doing, Mr. Flarp? Mr. Plarp von Karma? Oh, Mr. Flarp. Flap, 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 flap. There she is. Man, she's buff, dude. What a girl. Breathe stage and done with the story part two, first fight stage. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm stage two of uh, of part two story. I've had a busy day too. There's been the big update in ZZ. I pulled for Yanagi. I was super lucky with my Yanagi pulls. Um, and now, enjoying this. And maybe afterward, I'll try a new gacha. You're the ace up our sleeves for this mission. You look pretty weak to me. I wonder if you're up to the task. This is our first meeting, and this is how you act. Your rudeness knows no bound. That's rage coming from someone parading themselves around in a dress, prattling on about how they're the goddess. Who in the world are you talking about? I know it's not me. 
Please forgive her for an impropriety. I apologize on behalf of my colleague. Yeah, you go ahead and apologize because I won't be. Keep on waiting. I received my apology. You deserve one directly from them. <laughs> you said you were in the lab, right? I have a lot of questions about glass slippers. Can I take a look at it? If at all possible, I'd love to tinker with it and take it apart. Oh my god. Talking about undressing on the first meeting. That's rather bold of you. It's important to keep in mind where you're undressing as well. Anyway, I'd be quite interested in having a look. I'm sorry for all the chatter. You must be disappointed that we're not what you expected. Not at all. I love how lively you all are. Cinderella, was it? We have high expectations for you during this mission. From what I hear, you're the equivalent of a walking tactical weapon. Can you show me what you can do? Of course, anytime. Uh, Lily Wise was the first Nikkei ever and the strongest. She's so cool, I love her. Look at her, so pretty. Pat, 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 pat. You got Graven first temple, let's go! Yes. Very good, let's proceed with the test right now. We've prepared 500 Nikkeis. Show us how quickly you can kill them. Okay. From what we hear, you're quite skilled at killing Nikkeis. Show us. I hope you're ready for this. <laughs> I see you're quite confident. Oh, before we start, just a small formality. We need you to make a record. Nothing too serious. Something where you talk about your aspiration and stuff like that. My aspirations? That's easy to answer. I want to thrive and coexist with the ravishing goddesses. In the end, I would like to become even more beautiful than them. Don't you think that might be a bit challenging? What makes you think that? Because you've got too much blood on your hands. Are you awake? Seems like you were having a good dream. You were shouting and tossing and turning like crazy. If you're shouting, tossing and turning like crazy, maybe it's not a good dream. I dreamt about the goddesses. Even now, you can't get them off your mind, can you? It was a nightmare. I hate it when it happens. What is this place? This is my personal bunker where I'd scurry off to if I didn't feel like working. No one knows about it except me. Abe. Wait. First, eat this. Abe hands Cinderella an MRE. It's soup. Steam wafts from the bag, and a strong smell of artificial seasoning lingers in the air. Just because you're a heretic doesn't mean you can't eat, right? I don't know. Then try it. Well? I can eat. How's the taste? It's good. Then eat up. You probably haven't had a proper meal in ages. She ain't wrong, she hasn't. Yeah. That's it, eat it all. Oh no. She's gotta put too much salt in the soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I hate it here. I'm the cry, you're crying. She's crying, okay? Oh, poor girl. You probably feel it's unfair. Right? Go on, cry as much as you want. Until there are no more tears to shed. It's quite fortunate though, don't you think? Even after all these changes, you can still cry. Monsters don't shed tears. She needs a hug? Yeah, her story is pretty bad. A priest. Bad. I feel so bad for Cinderella, man. It's so fucking tragic. I mean, it's it's freaking Nikkei. It's always tragic. Ugh. Poor, poor baby. Poor little baby. Very upset about what happened to her. I'm very mad at who, at who did this to her. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off, E.T. Bye. Bye.
If over the goddesses and lost, you were torn to shreds. It was a decent idea using the goddesses as a form of suicide. Yes, yeah, what I said, she, she forced herself to do that. And that Chilo had become a symbol, but one on which humans could pin all their hatred. If things had been left as they were, humanity would have crumbled from within. Therefore, the heretic and the chill was transferred to a place called the Heretic Lab. But you didn't die. Every time you were injured, you regenerated. When they took you to that place, you were subjected to all sorts of... inspections. You don't need to sugarcoat it. Alright, you were experimented on. They wanted to find out what weapons worked against heretics and how to neutralize your ability to regenerate. To get a better idea of your interior composition. For a while, they couldn't find anything of much use. Then an unknown substance called Vapaus was introduced. Apparently, it's a substance that kills heretics. It specifically targets heretics. That's right. Hard to wrap your mind around it, isn't it? A substance specifically designed to eliminate heretics. That must mean there are more of them. Heretics. That's a reasonable deduction. Anyway, they injected you with Vapaus. There was a noticeable decline in your regenerative abilities. And then you began to regain consciousness. That's when you return to your original self, right? Yep, yeah, because we know that Vapaz uh, destroyed the nymph and actually allows you to escape the corruption. Yeah. I knew it. That tells me Vapaz isn't a substance meant to kill heretics but a cure for corruption. I don't need to tell you what happened after that. You experienced it yourself. What happened to everyone? After getting a thrashing from you, we are just waiting to die. When Oswald came and revived us. He repaired us, did all sorts of other things, and two months flew by. Wait, so Oswald? What is going on with Oswald? Oswald is so weird. One time he, he just fucks everyone over, and the other time he just is a good guy. What's going on? I'm so confused. No choice that to play Nyanya Paradise to help. I haven't even played Nyanya Paradise, and I'm dreading the day I will, because I know I'm going to have a bad time. We cleared our names and proved we weren't traitors. What is Oswald? Has a twin called Oswald. Yeah, and okay, what is Oswald? He's the bad twin, and the good twin is Oswald, aka Oz, aka Dio in Genshin Impact. <laughs> Did you get a brain scan? No, at this point, the only information to be able to get with that would be our favorite food, so they didn't bother using it. We worked hard to explain and presented evidence. That means they survived. So we're in the clear now. Well, we're still under strict surveillance. I heard something about the central government. The United Force of Humanity and VTC merged to become the central government. All the other small corporations were also incorporated. It sounds like a corporate merger, doesn't it? Humanity acknowledged defeat and hid on the ground. They're moving to a giant subterranean city called the Ark. The... They admitted defeat. The straw that brought the camels back must have been... Yes, it was you. Your actions are what caused the leaf mission to fail. The area near the leaf saw a rapid increase in raptures and became impenetrable. We can no longer target the highest ranking figure among the hellish horde. It constantly keep pouring out more raptures. It's unfortunate, but what can we do? I... Why did you come to free me? Because you would have died if I left you. You might become corrupted again. Wouldn't be better if I died. I killed so many people. I destroyed countless Nikkeis. I prevented humankind from succeeding. It's not even certain if I've been cured. I might regress. I'm no longer beautiful. Wouldn't it be better if I just died? I went back and spent the rest of my days as a dead subject. I don't know what I am anymore. I don't know what I should live for anymore. Who am I? An Achiro Cinderella. Ape. In your eyes, what do I look like? A pathetic fool. If you're looking for comfort, then you came to the wrong person. You know me, I'm not one for flattery. However, there are others who can do that in my stead. I call some of your old friends over. They'll be here soon. interesting because it means that they disappeared afterward so something happened to break them off i mean something happened to injure them all enough that she had to be in the coffin right 
I, I'm not sure that the community largely assumed that she was inside the coffin because she was, like, destroyed by the goddess squad. But turns out she was alive, she regenerated, and she was experimented on. So now we need to figure out what happened afterward, because something has had to happen. Have had to happen. Something happened, and I'm gonna find out. Do you think there's anyone tracking us? I would assume so. It's awfully quiet, though. This is Oswald we're talking about, after all. It might be smart to sit back and observe it first. Well, we haven't noticed anything that seemed too concerning, so it should be okay. We want to see Cinderella as soon as we can. <laughs> Cinderella, come out. You still look like an Ichiro to me. Your eyes are still red. She wasn't into the innocent look anymore, so she went for a makeover. Cinderella, say something. Everyone. Hansel, Gretel, and Little Mermaid flinch and step back. Sorry, we're not scared. You're just surprises, that's all. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry for causing you so much suffering. For messing everything up. I know this might be hard to believe, but I... I think in my right mind... I think I'm in my right mind now. Little Mermaid cautiously approaches Cinderella and quietly reaches out her hand. Siren. Cinderella extends a hand to hold Little Mermaid. Startled Little Mermaid takes a few steps back. Gretel and I, Siren, still scared. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I'm scared. But Gretel wants to kill Cinderella. We're still sore about getting our butts handed to us. Watch your mouth. You should consider our feelings. If you're scared they want to kill her, maybe you shouldn't have come. What do you mean? You, it's not like they force you to come. If Oswald hasn't saved Hansel and Gretel and the others, who would all have died? We also know the reason Cinderella acted the way she did was because she was corrupted. Whoever was still scared and want to kill her. I'm sorry. Give us some time. It won't be easy to go back to the way things were. Once it's clear that you're back to your usual self, we'll apologize, and we'll give you a big hug. Sorry. Siren, stop talking. I'm a little scared too. Give me a little more time. Be careful and don't phrase anything like a command. It could activate your powers. A little time will make things better. I told you not to speak. Why don't you listen to me? Okay, I understand. You can't trust me yet. I'll wait. It's getting late, so let's get some rest. It'll take at least a day for everyone to lower the guard anyway. Mm, I think that's a good idea. Can I borrow Cinderella for a bit? Sure. You should try and make her feel better. <laughs> Got it. Cinderella, this way. Oh god. Okay. Red Shoes and Cinderella walk together. Thank goodness. Sorry. I can't help the way I feel. I'm scared. Gretel feels a little sorry for Cinderella. I know. We can't go back to the way things were straight away. I'm scared because Red Shoe and, and Cinderella are alone together. It's like Cinderella is a sleeper Asian. Red Shoe is gonna say something in Russian and then she's gonna wake up and kill people again. And I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna be mad. You have obtained a key that can unlock a specific area in the minigame in the mirror. To enter the area, we need another glass key. Alright. <gasps> no! Not the tea! Not again! Not the tea! Retro hands in her like a cup of tea. Drink this. This is... Yes, it's the same tea we had before. I figured it'd be perfect to ease us into talking more openly. Thank you. Don't mention it. Do your eyes hurt? Do your eyes hurt? 
No, they don't. They don't feel strange at all. It just feels like a simple color change, that's all. It looks like a mark. You're right. It's pretty. I'd rather you not say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. What about the rest of you? Any pain or discomfort? This might sound strange, but I feel more energetic than ever. I almost feel omnipotent. That's understandable. You underwent a major upgrade. How about your appetite or sleep habits? The same, no change. You really are back. You haven't changed a bit. Your tone, your facial expressions, everything is the same. Hmm. It's such a relief. Thank you. Do you remember everything from when you were corrupted? Hmm, I remember everything. I acted of my own free will. Killing those Nikkeis and those humans. I thought it was all for the Queen. I truly believed I was doing something beautiful. When I came to my senses, I wanted to die. So it warps your consciousness entirely. Turns you into a rapture. I believe so. Was there anything else that was out of the norm? There was this wall. A wall? I was present, but I saw another version of me on the other side of the wall. And I couldn't break it down. That me beyond the wall did terrible things. All I could do was watch helplessly. Like a split pers like a split personality. That's remarkable. My mental faculties weren't enough to resist it. I was terrified. Was there anything else? Like someone talking to you or something? Mm, someone spoke to me. It tried to tempt me into listening to it. It tried to persuade you into doing things. I don't know if I could call it persuasion. There was a time when I came to my senses, and when I did, it threatened me. As if it had a personality all its own. It tried to bring me over to the dark side. Is that what corruption is capable of? This is astounding. Told you! This all sounds like science fiction. The rate at which raptures have evolved is astonishing. Red shoes. Why do you sound like that? Huh? You seem happy about this. Oh, well... You could say that corruption is my own creation. Yep. The first time she gave us tea, I said it was sus. And looks like... I wasn't wrong! That was not... That was not a red herring, baby! It was a... It was a... Very, very... That was a very... That was not a red herring! It was just a red flag! And this is insane. She's naked. She's the goddess of victory who protected us. She's been affected by corruption. She's not herself. How can we experiment on her? Do you realize how many have died? My entire hometown has been raised to the ground. Both of my sons who joined the military are dead. My wife couldn't bear it, and she... Where did you say your hometown was? Valley County. It's been obliterated, wiped off the map. Because of that thing. What? What's it is doing? Is that why I couldn't reach my family to the past few day? No! My mother! There are hundreds more like you. So steal yourself. This is not a Nikkei. Certainly nothing as noble as the Goddess of Victory. Oh, you mean the Goddess of Victory that you abandoned on the surface? Yeah, bet. It is an evil force which has united to destroy humanity. And so we must find a way to destroy it by any means necessary. There is no need for empathy. Consider it an object. Something which must be erased. I don't know if I'm capable of that. I will seek my revenge on you under the guise of research. That too might be doable. Yep, that's the guy that killed himself. Um, I think that's the only new one. There was always three here. Well, not always, but we unlock one. 
And here she's still being sussy back out. Oh, there's a shiny dot here. Shiny! Yeah, well, I'm not surprised about Red Hood being the, the culprit. We saw, like, when she gave the tea and she talked about being unified, I knew for a fact she was sus. I was like, oh, hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got all the shinies. Let's do the mini game real quick. And then we will call it here. And tomorrow we get more of the story. Man, I'm so excited. I am so, 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 so freaking excited. Let's go. Okay, I gotta change my keyboard because it only recognizes uh, queries. Query. Touch to continue. All right, let's go. So let me see the map real quick. Let me see, let me see, let me see the map. I see. All right, so we gotta go over here. So we'll teleport there. Uh, broken ego one. Nya -nya. Man, poor Cinderella. Dude, oh my god, I feel so sad about her. <sighs> so sad about and for her. Both of those things. Uh, is this the right direction? It is. Okay. Let's make a bit of progress here. Is that enough to open the door? It is. Awesome. Alright, we've got a new saving spot. The crawler. Get him! This Rapture's core data is also some interesting recovery data for the Glass Sleepers, as well as the coordinator for the Raptures. Are they exchanging coordinates? It's just one more target to deal with. Launch Sphere! Hello! Launch small sphere that explodes in contact with terrain or enemies and unleash circular energy within a specific time. Enemies see by the energy will take damage. Absorb Rapture attack. Absorb some of the enemy's projectiles. Um, absorbing projectile will refill the burst gouge and consume absorption energy. Or wherever the projectile is absorbed within a specific timing, no energy will be consumed. Okay, so it's like a, a perfect block, essentially. All right. We got uh, a new something. I don't know what that does, but we have it. But we've interacted with it, at least. A new save spot. Okay. Oh. We have a new teleportation point. And here, um, we might have some upgrade. Attack upgrade? I don't have one of those. Uh, here I don't need that. Increase movement speed. And here we're gonna need more resources. Alright. Oh! Ah, I can open this place. Okay, good sh good stuff, good stuff. I was worried I was gonna be locked up, locked out again. Ow, rude. Whoops. Alright. Uh, what does the map say? What does the map say? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ow. Um, I don't like this thing. What's going on? What? I 100% blocked it. Alright. There we go. Hmm... Senna, are you here? Where's the Senasi? Where the frick is the Senasi? Oh. Got him. All 
All right, that's dealt with. There's the other big bad guy over there. That's gonna take too long to kill it like this. I'll just ignore it. Disconnects here, okay. Ah, <laughs> and this connects to my death. What a what a neat magic trick. Uh, in mirror potato, and there we go. So that's how I go lower here. Okay, I just want to check this place real quick. Because I don't know if I can... Ah, oh, okay, we need another key for here. Okay, very cool. So what I'm going to do here is go lower. Will I be able to climb back up? I think so. Yeah, okay, I just activated the... Yep, there we go. Okay, that's awesome. So just saved. Great. Going to claim those stuff. Going to claim my dailies. There we go. And challenge. We can claim that too. And there we are. So, collection item. Oh yeah, another key. Allowing someone to look into the coffin while laying one's own body inside will constitute a form of atonement that borders on the desperate. Okay. Uh, back. Confirm. And I think that's going to be all of our dailies done. And this part of the story done. That was awesome. I will... Uh, I'm so excited about the rest of the story. I gotta know what happens. And I'm very worried because she did take the tea. It didn't say if she drank it, but uh, I'm very worried about it. I feel like she probably did, right? So uh, I'm worried. I'm scared. I hope everything goes okay. Uh, and I guess we'll find out tomorrow if that's the case. All right, um, we're here. It's time. We're going to be jumping into part two of the story. We've got five more chapters. And last time, we kind of got confirmation that um, Red Shoe was indeed the culprit. So let's see what happens now. Especially considering that she gave us the weird tea again. So I'm fully expecting her to screw us over again. So let's have a look, Cs. Let's freaking go, baby! Event 1-6. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hold me! Hold me! I'm scared! We'll never be able to defeat the raptures at this rate. The raptures are infinite, while we're finite in number. A ground assessment, to be sure. So we have to go big. That's the only way we'll be able to turn the tide. Did you have anything in mind? I believe so. No, actually, I'm certain I do. But it will be incredibly difficult, close to impossible, in fact. But we have to make it happen. As the goddesses, we must protect humanity. What's your plan? Do you think we stand a chance? Even if we didn't, we have to try. That's our job. So Red Shoes, never give up. I will take the first step. All you have to do is follow me. I'll become humanity's savior. I need you on my side. I have to go. We'll meet again. Goodbye, Rapunzel. I wish you luck. Having hope in a situation where you can't win. We're not siding with the Rapture to solve this problem. And there it is. At first, Carson was a bagatelle, something trivial which momentarily paralyzed Nikes. However, the way it operated was somewhat unorthodox. It didn't affect the nervous system, nor any other part of the body. So I was curious as to how it could induce paralysis. Every Nikes brain has something called a nymph. Have you heard of it? It injects information into the brain, then backs up all the information contained within the brain. In the initial stage, corruption forces its way into the nymph to issue a command not to move. The important thing was that it touched the nymph. It's that simple. This is where I saw the future. A future where we don't lose. A future where humanity wins this war. It's simple. We simply need to be on the same side. I didn't have the necessary skill to affect the nymph. So I started investigating this corruption phenomenon. And I discovered something remarkable. Corruption comprises a code that even humans can understand. 
This was a revelation. I tried inputting simple commands from the corruption process into the Nikes. You know what happened? They started moving according to the command that was input. It was fascinating. So I implemented my own personality data into the corruption code and modified it to have the subject think in the same manner as a rapture. This was also a resounding success. Then he gets infected by the corruption and repeated actions which were beneficial to the raptures. I was overwhelmed with joy. I discovered a way for humanity to coexist with the raptures. Oh boy. The raptures are our enemy. An enemy we must defeat. But if we switch our way of thinking and proceed with the mindset that raptures are our allies, then we don't need to fight anymore. We can truly achieve harmony. True. But there was a big problem. The corruption injected with my personality had very obvious limitations. It didn't last long. It either got attacked by the nymph and died or physically destroyed the brain. My personality data was inferior and unable to perform a diverse range of action. Okay. I had gone as far as I could with my own skill set. I became painfully aware of my limitations. So, I implanted this improved corruption code in the raptures and returned them. I trusted the raptures. In the raptures, if the rapture achieves such incredible evolutionary progress in short period with this improved corruption code, I firmly believe that it would be able to hone it to perfection. And they did not disappoint. When the raptures returned with the new and improved corruption code, I felt as if I had the entire world in the palm of my hand. Although it had become something unique to raptures, something that humans could not understand, it was perfection personified. That was what created you. An act hero, the fruit of my labor. That was how the raptures responded to the peace treaty I sent out. I proposed that we could live together in harmony. Oh boy. You, Anakiro, are a symbol of peace between the raptures and humanity. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sh for sure. 10 out of 10. You are a perfect being. The most beautiful being. If you had a beastly beauty when you were corrupted, now your beauty is absolute. Tell me more. Tell me everything about yourself. How are you feeling? Do you still want to leave for the raptures? How does it feel when you see a Nikkei? Is there a difference from before? I definitely want to kill you. Do you sleep? Can you taste? Do the raptures attack you? Do you feel like you're out of place? Do you want to kill humans? Do you want to save them? Do you still hear voices? How long can you hold your breath? Tell me, tell me everything! Anakiro, please! <laughs> tell me you love me! I have a question. Questions are also good. What is it? Are you the one who implanted the corruption in me? Yes, I did during your last maintenance check. Told ya! Why me? Because you're the most perfect Nikkei amongst us. The result of the rapture and improved corruption combined with your perfection. I had no doubt that the result would be sublime. The raptures realized that too. That's why they modified you to be omnipotent. The ultimate masterpiece, jointly created by me, the raptures and Abe. It's such beauty and moral. It's almost blasphemous. Did you do this to the others as well? No, not yet. I didn't want to waste any precious subjects until I confirmed your outcome. When did you come up with the idea of coexisting with the raptures? A while ago, when I was still human. Why did you apply to become a Grimm's model? In order to spread my beliefs, I required power. I had to climb up the ranks. Rather than coming from a priest or VTC researcher, the words of a goddess would carry much more influence. Mm -hmm. true, 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 true. Are you saying you want to infect all Nikes? Yes! How have you not been found out yet? I'm aware that others will consider me insane. It's that awareness that has allowed me to remain undetected. Like a bad infection. I was surprised that they wanted to do a brain scan, but it didn't amount to much. Anakiro. It's destiny! How else could everything have fallen into place so perfectly? You must guide me. You must guide everyone. On the heretic path. On the path to harmony. One last question. Please, ask. 
Is there a reason why I shouldn't kill you now? Because I'm going to help you! Now we can begin to walk the path toward peace coexistence, peaceful coexistence with raptures. Not many people will understand, but I will see my plan through. I simply need you to remain a symbolic figure. I'll take care of everything else. So, Anakiro, with me. Shush! Well, well, well. How the turn tabled. <laughs> I'm sorry, say, saying how the turntables always make me laugh. <laughs> a beam of life on glass sleepers pierces through red shoes' cores. She collapses lifelessly to the ground. Don't call me that. Sidran lowers her head and curls her face in her hands, sobbing silently. I feel like maybe she should have talked to the others about it before killing her, because like this is gonna induce some misunderstanding. You know what I mean? Cinderella quickly raises her head. Red shoes is, mo is moving. How? I pierced the core straight through. Both of Red shoes' legs twist and contort at unnatural angles. She then charges at Cinderella while frantically swinging her appendages. What the fuck? The flailing legs ceaselessly pound on glass sleepers. I, I hate it here. I, I absolutely hate it here. Her appendages are moving in after the bun body has been taken out. Red shoes moves like a marionette with the strings attached. Glass sleepers fires a light beam, severing both of Red shoes legs from her bodies, like a sword through the air. Red shoes once again fall lifelessly to the floor. Oh jeez, look at her hands! And her arms! The two detached legs wander around aimlessly, as if lost and not knowing where to go. After a while, they disappear into the darkness. You're still breathing. Oh, how happy I, I would be to be turned into a heretic. Retro's eyes grow faint as her life slips away. And her movement ceases. It was you. This is all because of you. You've caused all this pain and misery. Damn you! Oh! Cinderella. And now they're gonna think she's a murder. Let the shoes out! Red shoes. Is she dead? What's going on? Explain. Cinderella looks around with trembling eyes. The room which is in shambles. Red shoes corpse with her legs amputated in a hole in her chest. Yeah, that, that's hard to explain, isn't it? And her standing beside the body, the faces of her comrades unable to hide their fear and horror. Did, did you do this? No, it's not. Cinderella. It wasn't me. I mean, I did this to her, but she was trying to corrupt. She said that the corruption was her doing. She was trying to use it to... What? Rattle. Glass slippers is solid, so I'll use acid. Roger. Let's kill this heretic. No, I'm not a heretic. I'm not an cure anymore. It's me, Cinderella. Let me ask you a question then. You're saying retro is beyond this corruption and it was her who planted it inside you. Th that's right. I, I can explain every... Do you really expect us to believe that? There's no way retro would do something like that. You feel the same way, Siren. Oh, God. Then what about me? What about me? You think I would kill red shoes with that cause? Yeah, just for funsies. I mean, sometimes you just... Man, girls only want one thing and it's disgusting. They just want to have fun and do a little bit of murder. Is it so wrong? <laughs> Is it so wrong, though? Come on, just a little bit of murder? It's not that bad. Why isn't anyone hearing at my side of the story? Why I did it or what happened? I'm back. I'm all better now. Why don't you believe me? Why didn't any of you? When I saw you all a while ago, wouldn't anyone ask if I was okay? Hmm? I see it is. When you all look at me, what do you see? 
Cinderella's question is greeted with silence. I understand now. Even after what I put you through, you were willing to meet with me. I'm grateful for that. But I guess I had the wrong impression. You simply wanted to see a monster. You wanted to hurt a monster. Cinderella begins to levitate. Don't follow me. Or I'll kill you where you stand. Cinderella disappears, leaving her former colleague standing amongst the ruined room. I mean, this is gonna be real fucking easy. Just scan the brain. She's here, she's not moving. Take the brain of that bitch and scan it. You'll see she's telling the truth. They silently stare up at the sky where Cinderella disappeared. But also, let's be real, Anakiro would have been Anakiro would have been strong enough to restrain Red Shoes instead of just killing her and thus killing literally the person that could explain it all. A little bit of murder is nothing that bad. Come on. Who doesn't like a little bit of murder? Would you stop being my stream <laughs> would you stop watching my streams if I murdered you a little bit? That's kinda rude. Would the brain still work if the Nikki is already dead? Uh, I mean, technically, they can properly preserve the brain. Right? They should be able to preserve the brain. Like, the, the, the core has been destroyed. But, like, there's been cases where they preserve the brain. Like, and only the brain. Like, they have special boxes for it. They keep the brain and then they can reconstruct another body and plant the, the brain to the new body. So, that would be possible. In theory, at least. do 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 I think it should be, unless, I mean, to be fair, this is about a hundred years ago. Maybe the technology was not that good back then. Because I was thinking, and Anakiro gets completely destroyed, but she still survived. But then I forgot it's because she kind of regenerated since she already had become a heretic, essentially. But, um, I mean, we don't have anything telling us that it's not possible right now. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the knowledge that we currently have. And the knowledge that we currently have is that it's possible. Like, if they hurry, right? Hi, Chabonas, I'm doing great. What about you? Cinderella wakes up from her sleep and stares blankly out of the window into space. At the point where the horizon meets the cloudless sky, as tears fall down her face, the sun sets. As she falls back to sleep, Cinderella weeps. Cinderella wakes up from her sleep and stares blankly out of the window into space, at the point where the horizon meets the cloudless sky. As still saw down her face, the sun sets. As she falls back to sleep, Cinderella weeps. Cinderella wakes up from her sleep, and suddenly, she realizes what she must do. My life is no longer a beautiful fairy tale. I am a traitor to humanity, a monster, a heretic. That's the way my story has been written. A failed story. A fairy tale that is not beautiful must be erased. Glass sleepers, full contact. The glass sleepers float and unfold. The panels, which only a few moments ago were emitting a barrage of light beams and was designed to be aimed at the scourge of mankind, turn to Cinderella. Cinderella closes her eyes. In her mind, the image which arises is not the goddess quad she no longer she so longed to be a part of, not the Nikkei's and humans who perish and suffer by her hands. Not the researcher who turned the gun on himself right before her eyes. No red shoes whom she killed in a murderous rage. It was one who appeared out of nowhere during her agony. Cinderella. Cinderella thought she was hearing voices. Get up. With trepidation, she opens her eyes. Abby standing before her. Turn glass sleepers off, you idiot. How did you find me? Oh, the queen! Abe! MVP! Do you okay? Thanks for asking. Spend two days, two hours before just playing PGR event before work, and I started working night shift. Hell yeah! Hope everything treats you well. Hope it goes good. Uh, 
Answer me. How did you find me? Answer me! I thought you would be here. What? You always said that someday, when this was all over, you'd want to spend your days in a place where the cloudless sky meets the horizon. Cinderella looks at the window, outside the cloudless sky and the horizon intermingle. After you ran away, I looked for a place that matched the description. I assumed that you would have thought that everything was over. There were a few places that fit the bill, but this one was the furthest. So I figured that where that's where I would find you. Did, did I say that? You did. I don't remember. I do. Why are you here? To take you away. Where? Anywhere but here. Wherever it is, I'm not going. I will stay here. And do what? Die? Yes. I can't allow that. I don't need your permission. That's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong, kiddo! Pew pew! I created you so I get to say when you die. <laughs> Call me mummy. <laughs> Come on, get up. Ave takes Cinderella's hand and she flinches. I told you to get up. What are you trying to do? Get up so we can have some snacks and chat. Ave tugs at Cinderella, but she doesn't budge. Come on, please. Forget about me. Oh! No! I said forget about me. I've become a monster. I'm no longer beautiful. I stood in the goddess's way. I killed many humans and my own comrades. I've ruined everything. There's no reason for me to leave. You have to leave. Why? Ape sits down in front of Cinderella. Because I want to be the best engineer this world has ever known. Fast forward to uh, Grave saying I'm not an engineer anymore. <laughs> oh, about that. Whoops. Whoopsie. Little did you know, in chapter 34, she herself said, I'm not an engineer. You are my creation. That would be a grave mistake. I see what you did there, Flarp. Captain Valley, thank you for the follow. My greatest masterpiece. It can't end like this. I can't let you end it all on such a miserable note. Otherwise, I would have created something which I didn't amount to anything. And this isn't where the story ends. Your story can only come to a close when you are at your most beautiful. How oh, do you have too much blood on my hands? I'm not beautiful anymore. I mean... Still wood? Wood good? My story has been tainted. There is no happy ending for me anymore. A fairy tale which is no longer beautiful should be erased. I always been watching you. I didn't want to miss a single moment. Your perseverance toward achieving your goals. Your refusal to give up. Your way of thinking. The future. Your dreams. I watched it all. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I could create a masterpiece such as yourself. I couldn't take my eyes off you. I think that just being gay, ma'am. I think you're just gay. You were so beautiful. You always had a captive audience in me. Your attention was focused on the goddess squad. You want to be a part of them. To be honest, I wasn't terribly interested in them. Because you were more beautiful. Ada! You were shining bright like a Like a diamond! And you were right in front of me. So why would I look at inferior beings that were far away? You were the most beautiful being that I ever created. My god is a victory. Goddess of victory. That's why it can't end here. My goddess of victory must shine the brightest. And be the most beautiful. Let's rewrite it. Let's rewrite this fairy tale which has gone astray. You're still alive. It's not over yet. There's still a chance to write the story as many times as we want. 
It's only the first chapter that's finished. There's still a long way to go until the ending. There's bound to be plenty of twists and turns along the way. Let's create a happy ending. But I've already killed so many people. You weren't you? I stood in the way of the goddess squad. That's not what you intended. I became the enemy of the entire human race. It's not your fault. I even killed red shoes with my own hands. You must have had a good reason for what you did. I trust you. No matter what happens, I will always trust you. I'm blinded by your light and your beauty. Oh my god. Man. I gotta get myself a girl that looks like me the same way that Abel's look at Cinderella. I swear to god, Jesus. I'm swooning right now. Abe. Look, Cinderella. Abe and Cinderella look at glass slippers. The reflection is stained with blood. What do you see? A monster covered in blood. Don't be a fool. That can be wiped away. No matter where it's covered in, that doesn't change what's underneath. Look, it's all clean. Uh, debatable. <laughs> Whenever you're struggling, don't allow your image to define you. Instead, look at your true self. What do you see now? When you look at me, what do you see, Abe? I can't see anything, I'm too starstruck. What do you see? Me. Who are you? Cinderella. And what kind of person is Cinderella? Someone who betrayed humanity and killed a lot of people. What do you mean? It's not an Akira who is reflected here. It's Cinderella. So I'll ask you again, what kind of person is Cinderella? A person who, when despair, received help from the goddesses and then idolized them. Someone wanted to stand on the battlefield alongside them and apply for that privilege. Who worked really hard and became a second generation Grimm's model. A person who took great pride in that truth. Someone who took thousands, tens of thousands of tests. Who always tried to achieve the best result. Who never gave up on her dreams. Oh, look at this cutie pie! Who was always proud and full of confidence. A person who loved their comrades. Someone who loved humanity. A person who loved myself. The most, the most beautiful person in the world. And this Cinderella you're describing, what did she want to do? Defeat those who would harm humanity and protect the human race. She's so pretty! To write a story. That's better. Let's do it. Let's rewrite it. I'll be in the front row watching. I'll be your mirror. I'll watch you become your true self. Okay. You watched over me all this time. Even if everyone turns their back on me, you will remain by my side. For you, I will continue my story. So cute! When you become exhausted and you can't stand to look at yourself. When the mirror surface becomes smudged and dirty. Just remember my eyes watching you. That's when you'll find the most beautiful. Goddess of victory. The most beautiful goddess of victory this world has ever seen. Damn! So now it's gonna be, I got this feeling somebody's watching me. I've got the privacy. Just A being like, what you doing? I'm on the toilet! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, Abe is such a queen, dude. Are all Nikkei's are some more fictional names? No, only some of them are fictional names. Well, I mean, I know what you mean, but uh, all names are fictional in a way or another. But I feel I feel like you name names of characters in fiction work, and yes, the Grim models. So. The first generation of the green models and the second generation of the green models all have names that are based on um, fairy tales, specifically. Like Rapunzel, Red Hood, Snow White, um, Cinderella, um, The Little Mermaid, Hansel and Kettle, etc. It's not all of them, though. It's just those ones. I didn't expect this kind of talk to come from you. Not a word of this to anyone. Having to suffer through this once for my child is difficult enough. <gasps> I told you! She's mommy! 
did you say, child? Why are you making this weird face? I'm touched. Hmm. Anyway, I know I was speaking confidently, but things have really gone to the dogs. The dogs? Right now, you're... The main reason why humanity had to flee on the ground. That's pretty bad. The one we destroyed the Heretic Research Lab and will kill Red Shoes. You already know. So if we're being realistic, we have two choices. First, we turn to the central government and cooperate with the investigation. I'll be there to make sure they don't treat you roughly like before. I'll prove to them that you're completely and utterly free of corruption and explain the mechanisms behind it. While on paper, this is the safest and most conventional method. It might not be even possible. Especially considering I'm essentially a wanted criminal. I doubt I've even been given the chance to explain myself. Now the second choice, hide that and wait. Like I told you, humanity has acknowledged defeat and is hiding on the ground. An operation called Art Guardian, centered around the Goddess Squad, is in the way. Whatever form it ends up assuming, the option will soon come to a close. Um, doesn't end up well. Just check out Overzone. The people will seal the Ark and ensure that nothing can enter or exit. My second option is to hide away and wait until that happens. What happens then? I don't know, maybe you consider getting to farming. What's the point of living on a planet when nothing remains? You'll be alive, and that will be significant enough. You will wait, and you'll keep waiting. Short term, now tell me. When humanity eventually emerges from their underground city, that is when you will help them. After enough time has passed, they'll be willing to overlook much of what has happened. Well, it's a safe choice, though the disadvantage is that it will take a lot of time. There's always the off chance that it will backfire. Pick whichever one you prefer. Did this seem particularly alluring? Then what are you going to do? You said we should rewrite the story. Hmm? And? Let's rewrite it. This can also be a part of the story. Every story has an intermission. I don't like that. It's not beautiful. It's easy enough to say you don't like something, but not so easy to come up with alternatives. For better or worse, I've become stronger. My current strength is incomparable to before. Good for you. <laughs> is she mad because she's not the one who actually made her that strong? <laughs> and due to the many unwanted battles, my skill was so significantly improved. When Abe says he realized the perfect creation, so is her booba and thighs the same or not? I don't know. We, I mean, we don't know if she specifically herself designed her that way. Maybe that's just how Cinderella's body proportions were before being transformed and so she decided to keep them. Or maybe someone else was like, okay, you gotta make her have huge booba. Or maybe she chose for Cinderella to have huge booba. So we don't know. It's possible. That's up to you. It can be your little headcanon. Why would you bring that up now of all times? Sorry, I didn't mean to make things more difficult. It's the truth. I'm as strong as ever. In matter of physical strength, nothing is impossible for me. Don't tell me. In order to fix the story, I need to right the wrongs I've committed. I'm going to take down the Queen. You mentioned that the number of raptures near the leaf has increased, didn't you? It doesn't matter. With my current abilities, I can break through. I can erase the past catastrophes. The Goddess Squad will no longer be a failure. This is where it changes. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful plan that can resolve everything. I don't think you have to go that far. What do you mean? Humanity doesn't trust you. They consider you their enemy, a traitor. You don't have to go through all of this. Abe, I still want to be a second generation Grimm's model. The savior of humanity. The successor to the Goddess Squad. I'm not doing this for humanity. I'm doing it for myself. And for Abe, who created me. For my comrades. I need to undo the damage I caused with my own hands. So you're going to take down the Queen? Hmm. Sounds like a fool's errand. Let's get started. Hell yeah! Well, the last bit contradicted the, per the first part. High risk, high reward. I like it. High risk, high reward. What are you, Dola? What are you, Dola? The Dola C. If we want to turn things around, then we've got to do something drastic. The drastic. But is there, there is something I need. What is it? I need Hansel, Cattle and Siren. We need to go together. Then I know for sure that we can win. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. 
Are you certain? How could we not? While they may not be as strong as me, they are so remarkable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True, 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 true. It's not a matter of how strong they are or aren't. It's whether they'll be willing to go with you in the first place. They'll come with me. I'm sure of it. What makes you so confident? Because I believe everyone feels the same as I do. Okay, let's go meet them. I don't know if they'll be persuaded, but we can at least go see them. If you talk to them, should I listen? Do you think I've got a voice like sirens or something? No, you have something better. You were able to save someone who was ready to give up everything, who was already ready to choose death. A fun kitty will do. Don't you ever bring that up again, please. There's no need to be flustered, you're beautiful. Well, uh, still, if you want to talk to them, then the first step is to go meet up with them. And that will be the biggest stumbling block. How come? Surely that wouldn't be an issue for you. Well, the thing is, before I came here, I used the stun gun to knock them all out. <laughs> I'm considering I'm considering an important witness so they wouldn't let me leave. You think that's funny? Let's find them then. Find them? You mean there? Hmm. I guess there's some sense to that. Good, let's start by sneaking in. Wait, someone's coming. Is it a rapture? I can't tell. At that moment, a voice is heard from outside. <gasps> Come out. Oswald is here? We have you surrounded. Robotswald? Robotswald? Oh, God. Oh, God. I really think that Oswald is actually a good guy. I just think that he's a, he has his hands tied. And some, sometimes, unfortunately, he has to do the things that are not good, but he doesn't have a choice. I still, I, I still think he actually works for the greater good. But in... <sighs> I think essentially he's a puppet for the government, but he still tries to do the best he can with what he has. So whenever he can, I feel like he helps against orders. But he still tries to help. What an odd combination. What is this? I thought you said we were surrounded. A bit of an exaggeration, don't you think? I mean, they're technically around the house. <laughs> Three second generation Grimm's model are more than enough to hem you in. Hansel, Gretel, Siren. Why is there a shooting tiny mirrors? So those four things around her, or what? I think she has, no, she has two. Um, they essentially have a lot of mirrors, and what she does is that she shoots laser beams at the mirrors, and it essentially splits them into multitude of laser beams that then just are incredibly fast, and uh, they burn through everything. Seems like you haven't come here to talk things through. Tell me, why are you here? We're here to take you in, and to eliminate the heretic and the Akiro. Then I'm afraid you wasted your trip, since the heretic and Akira is no more. Allow me to convey the current feeling of the central government. He mass massacred untold numbers of Nikias and humans, he destroyed the heretic research lab, he murdered red shoes in cold blood. You must be executed. Given the untold harm you have caused on humankind, both physically and non moral, we are here to kill you and secure your remains. The news of your death will boost morale. I hate to admit it, but you're not wrong. Maybe that's why they abandoned the other goddess of Nick, uh, the other goddess of victory. Maybe the reason why they abandoned the old goddess squad is because of um, Anakiro, indirectly. People were worried that the kind of stuff, like the one of, the, I, I imagine that they saw what happened to the strongest Nikkei ever, and they turned into a traitor. And so maybe they're worried that it might happen with the goddess squad. That's why they kept them out. That's why they abandoned them on the surface. Furthermore, any future option to capture or negotiate with an Akira is off the table. A primary goal is elimination. Isn't that going on a bit overboard? A heretic's body holds untold research potential. Too many have died by her hand. It's not just the central government. The government people harbor a desire for revenge. So many of them have lost family and friends. So she's become a figurehead. Correct. Rapture is already starting to be viewed as a natural phenomenon, akin to a natural disaster. There is no trace of individuality amongst them. They are an anonymous collective, a faceless horde. 
but the heretic and Akira. She is one person, a perfect and singular target to focus on. So you came to kill her, and you brought them along. There is nothing better than a Green's model to combat a heretic. Hey, you guys, what's gotten into you? Did you really come to kill Cinderella? They are only need. They are only in a bit of a tight spot. Their top member Cinderella has been corrupted. Hey, bad apple, what's up? But Shoes wants a high-ranking priest and researcher from VTC is dead. Saren's barely able to control the immense power she wields. As for Hensel and Katul, they are illicit creations. Only three second generation green models were supposed to be made. Cinderella, Red Shoes, and Siren. Hensel and Katul were created by you without prior authorization. You created full-fledged Nikkei's all in secret. You know what this implies, don't you? That I am amazing? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I won't deny that, but it also casts doubt upon your intentions. Only a potential trader will conduct such actions in secret. The heretic is the new weapon that you created, and the second generation green models were all made to eventually serve as such. It makes for a convenient cover-up, and you're the perfect scapegoat. If you had a brain in your head, you'd know that complete horseshit. My opinion doesn't matter. What matters is that this is what most people will think. In particular, this war in power. So what are you trying to say? Cinderella, if you die, everyone else can be cleared of the charges. If you take the blame for what's happened and die. Abe and the other Green's model can return. They can be humanity savior once again, from the successors to the goddesses. Only you will be considered a traitor. To capture you, the second generation Green models were deployed. After a fierce battle, they emerge victorious. The foe that even the goddess squad struggle against will be defeated. Vengeance will be ours. It will be a great achievement, one which overshadows any minor details. I understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of cooperating. There is something I must do. What is that? I will defeat the queen. You see, given your specification, that is, this is not as outlandish as it may sound. Very well, is this your final decision? I should have known this is what you'll dis you'd all decide. Hansel, Kettle, Siren, let's go together. With your help, we can win. Kettle and I want to ask you something. Sure. Did Anakiro kill Red Shoes? No, I did. Why did you kill her? She deserved to die. I thought Red Shoes was kind. She took good care of us. She was kind to Siren. She likes Cinderella. Was your hate for Red Shoes so strong as to forget all that? Yes, I despised her. If you start to hate greatly me, will you kill us too? If you do something like what Red Shoes did, then yes. I will kill you. What were Red Shoes' final words? She didn't say anything. That's not true. Her last words were... Oh, how I wished I could become a heretic. I see. Oswald told me that she was refining the corruption virus. I did some of my own investigation. Turns out Red Shoes was using an old VTC research lab in secret. We found over 200 Nikes and about 10 raptures there. The Nikes are all that the brain operated on and the raptures had been implanted with corruption. Is that true? All the Nikes were dead, but something stood out even more than that. All the eyes were red. The raptures were all functioning normally. They had been stripped of their armor and were immobile. Only the corruption-inducing devices were operational. Red Shoes were refining the corruption process. Of that, there is no doubt. And one more thing. The entire lab was full of your photos. I see. Kettle and I knew that Red Shoes did some bad things. Even worse things to Cinderella. But did you have to kill her? Was there no other option? No, there wasn't. I think you're trying to play it off like you don't care. Gretel thinks you're crying. We both like you, Cinderella. We also like Red Shoes. We're... We're sad. Red Shoes was like family to us. I'm sad too. We don't want to lose another family member. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sad. Petit, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Petit. There, there, we go, Petit. There she is. I'm oh, sorry, Petit is being a bit clingy today. So we will protect you. 
We will protect Cinderella. Let's go together. Yay! Thank you. Ah! Oh, can I hug you? Sure. Hansel and Gretel apart Cinderella. Yes! Do it! Do it, my little German babies, yeah? Ah, for the bar. What other word? The two hugs Cinderella tightly. Very good. Sorry for not believing in what you said. For not believing you. Sorry. Ah, oh, pat, 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 pat. It's okay. Thank you for coming to meet me. Thank you for forgiving me. You did nothing wrong. Cinderella gently pats Hansel and Gretel on the back, then slowly walks toward Little Mermaid. Cinderella quietly extends her hand to Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid silently regards Cinderella's extended hand and reaches out her own in response. Their two hands intertwine. Ah, oh, Cinderella, you were hurting. You were very lonely. You fool, I told you not to talk. I was so scared. I didn't know if the person in front of me was the real you. I was scared that you might hurt me again. Remember when you broke my jaw in tiny billion pieces? I didn't like that. That's why I avoided your hand. You probably just wanted to hold hands. No one would have held Cinderella's hand. You're holding my hand now, that's all I need. I understand. Ah! Come here, Petit. Come on. Dang, I didn't even need to persuade them. Oswald? Mm, yes. Are you crying? No. It's raining. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sweating from my eyes. I have condition, okay? Sh shut up. <laughs> oh, you didn't come here to kill us, did you? I wasn't here to eliminate you. That much is true. But if I, if I failed, but I fell, sorry. And here you're practically laying down the red carpet to let us escape. Don't be ridiculous. So, are you going to kill the queen? Nah. -uh. Yes. Then you're officially fugitives now. Your name will have a curse upon them and you will be shunned. Can you handle that? It's okay, we can always clear our names again. Kata and I are okay with that. Here, Oswald hands a but small tablet. What's this? A list of safe places and routes that will keep you out of harm's way. Perhaps it will come in handy. Why are you doing this? It's unlike you. I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I like Oswald. I, I know he, he's done some sussy shit in the past, but also, like, I feel like he didn't have a choice, right? Ah, it's funny, dude. It's just funny. And at the end of the day, every time the pilgrims or the potential, you know, yeah, the pilgrims, every time they really needed it, he was there. Remember when Red Hood was like dying and he picked her up and he drove her the entire way? You pull leader to down Nikkei. Congratulations, she's awesome. Oswald extends his hand and points off into the distance. He points to a gigantic pillar stretching from the horizon up into the far reaches of the sky, the lift. You have to win. And give humanity the victory they deserve. Leave it to us. I will bring you a splendid, beautiful victory. That was nice. Ah, oh, man! Oswald MVP! I feel like... Like, Oswald is... Like, you have Anderson that works in the light, you know? Like, Anderson is the... He's the ultimate commander, you know? And... At the opposite of Anderson, there was Oswald. And Oswald was... The guy that had to work in the shadows. And always, like, find a way to help out the, the Nikes. I mean, he, he was responsible to... Like, he's not the one that made the decision that humanity were betraying the Nikkeis. He's not the one that, that chose to, to fuck the goddess squad, right? But he had to deliver the message, that's for sure. Man, that was good! That was good, I really liked it. Oh my god, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll get the two last 
part of the story. And um, then I will I will have to focus on the mini game. I haven't played that much of the mini game, but I'll definitely do that. Oswald did the Eminent Shadow. Oh God, please kill me. <laughs> No, no, he's not. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, I guess. Yeah. Since we have confirmed the corruption effects nymph, I believe our research should proceed in a new direction, but for some reason, the higher-ups have prohibited any further research. I feel like we're so close. I can't stop now. This record is a compilation of all the research I've conducted unofficially. I firmly believe that in the distant future the world I desire will arrive. This data will be a monumental achievement, marking the beginning of such a new world. The l I bet the last part of the mini game is in luck with hard. Yeah, probably. Preparations are required. I must seize the rapture that induced corruption and prepare a batch of mass-produced sneakers, convert the facility into a laboratory more conducive to, conducive to conducting experiments, Prepare sufficient sustenance to recharge the raptor's core. It weighs heavy on one's heart, but it must be considered a necessary sacrifice for a harmonious union in the future. Someday there will be those who understand that my intentions are noble. Damn. Hey, Mercade, what's up? And the music. It was you. Because of you, uh, we've ended up in this miserable state. I will never forgive you. Yeah, you know, sometimes something is not a red herring. She was sussy from the start. I said she was sussy, and she she was. A plain bowl of instant soup flavored with artificial seasoning. Though it's perfectly ordinary and far from special, it nonetheless reminds me that I'm not a monster. True! You ain't, baby! Um, Is there a new fragment? Oh, one, two, th I don't think those were here before, so let's check them out. No, it was silly until we get there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard mode is gonna be in a week, I assume. Now you don't belong anywhere anymore. Yeah, not a rapture, Nikkei or human. No one will trust you. All those we see you will be hostile towards you. Oh, you poor, pitiful princess made of glass. Oh boy, I love her. You will live the rest of your life in isolation, and then you will die. I wish you good luck. Beautiful Annette Kiro. <laughs> Sane. Insane. Alright, good stuff. What's this one? This everything is truly amazing. Every part of her is important beyond measure. Every part regenerates regardless of the condition it's in. All of it. Yes, even after certain parts are severed, they regenerate. Meanwhile, the rest of the body output doesn't decrease at all. Hmm. This is most interesting. I think we can go a little further in our experiments. Excellent. I'm looking forward to some positive result. Yes! Yes, sir! Alright, not great. Uh, is there any more stuff we haven't seen? Uh, we've seen all of those three. Oh! Wait. No, yeah, we have. One, two, three. Oh! Is this one new? I feel like there was only three over there. Hello. Yep, there it is. You're not a monster. You know taste and shed tears. You feel guilt and sadness. What kind of monster would be capable of those things? You're no monster. I won't let that happen to you. And if you were a monster, don't worry. I'm a monster fucker. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Tomorrow will be the last part of All Tales. And uh, yeah, see you then. Alright, it's All Tales time. Let's do that. The, the last two events have to be concluded they have to be done it's probably gonna be relatively short but i'm just gonna do the login stem first and uh let's see how it all ends up uh bad i'm pretty sure most likely i mean ah, surely everything's gonna be fine right for for real for real for real for real all right challenge time oh it's actually a higher difficulty now um yeah whatever do
I really want to play Tears of Temis. I should I should stream Tears of Temis at some point. Would you guys be down to clown with some Tears of Temis? Oh, that's Alti sign. Um, Alti sign. I thought it was actually. Um, I thought this was Behemoth for some reason. <laughs> I mean, they look similar. They're from the side. Alright, good stuff. So that's dealt with. I wanna. I don't know why. I just. I wanna be swooped. I need to play Otome games. I feel, guys. It, would you still love me if I switch from a gacha streamer to an Otome streamer? <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna see me getting wooed by, by hot men in my Otome games? <laughs> I mean think about it. I, is it I mean to be fair, I could play gacha otome games like uh, Love in Deep Space. But that's how I tried to play it. It was like so laggy and sucked. Where's the unsub? Uh, you're gonna miss out. All right, let's get into this. 111, let's see. Oswald, the king! The king! Oswald, the man! The man of the hour! The man of the hour! Let's play on Odo, I'm too lazy. Come on, get him, Cinderella! Get to Warframe. They're adding a dating scene with the next update. Yeah, but I, nah, I'm fine. Warframe is okay, but it's like, if one day they release a Warframe 2, maybe. But like, I feel like it's it's too much. In, it's too much to get into it now. In front of the lift, the girl stands in front of a seemingly endless Rapture army. The sight is enough to make Abe's breath leave her body. Her throat dries up, and as she gulps nervously, she recalls the conversation they just had. Oswald, you never had any doubt, did you? What do you mean? You knew Cinderella was free from the corruption. I thought a hard case like you would prioritize the worst case scenario for sure. I was hoping for this bet these to be the outcome. What? That there was once a hero who was willing to fight until the bitter end. The bitter end. If she had given in the corruption, there would be far too tragic an ending to the story. If corruption can be treated, there's a chance that a hero could be rehabilitated as well. She's capable of that, and much more. Of course, he's talking about Red Hood. Holding on to the kernel of hope, I decided to believe. To believe that corruption can be treated. I had no idea you were this sentimental. Only in certain situations. Abe, speaking of the worst case scenario, I need to tell you. You're talking about how Cinderella might not be completely cured, right? You knew. What was it called again? Vapaos. I read a report. When you're exposed to it, 98% of the nanomachines in the body are destroyed. Cinderella's body is mostly made up of nanomachines now. But she hasn't experienced any changes. The nanomachine collapsed and then regenerated. The key word to keep in mind here is internal. Yes, I remember them using the term in the report. This other machine they refer to must be the nymph. You know about nymph as well, as classified information. A fugitive cares little about confidentiality. Anyway, if this vapor kills the nymph, then it's fair to assume 98% of Cinderella's nymph is currently dead. Correct, 2% remains. That could also mean that some corruption might still be present. We must also keep in mind that being nanomachines, they are capable of reproduction. If that happens, what will you do? What do you mean by that? I'm talking about if Cinderella becomes an Akira again. Cinderella will never be tainted again. What evidence do you have to support that? Uh, my evidence is trust me, bro. <laughs> my own conviction, nothing more. Now who's being sentimental? Only in certain situations. Abe, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Just a bit nervous. I hardly think it's fair that my first mission is to overthrow the queen. Greta, on the other hand, finds it very exciting. Yeah, tell them, Nisomori, tell them! 
And the Ark is being sealed as we speak. The defensive operation centered around the Goddess Squad, our guardian is reaching the final stages. They're about to be betrayed in relatively, let's say, two hours. In about five hours, um, Dorothy is going to lose her mind. In about five hours, Pin is dead. Pin? Pine? I think it's Pin. That means the higher level raptures are heading for the Ark. But the Ark will be sealed and kept safe, because the goddesses are there. While the raptures head for the Ark, our aim is to find the queen and attack. While all the pretty little raptures are out to play, we strike when the house is empty. Well, maybe not entirely empty. None of you have to come with us. This is a glorified suicide mission. We can all go back and say that Cinderella escaped. Your lives could return to normal. Why aren't you going back, Abe? You're the weakest one among us. To be honest, you won't be able to help much in terms of combat. I can still do repairs on your insolent goofballs. I have to see this through to the end. I need to witness the moment Cinderella clears her name once and for all. The moment she writes her story. Gretel and I don't care about that. We just want Cinderella to leave. That's why we have to protect her. Ah, so cute. Yeah, the bubble is adorable. I want Cinderella to be happy. It's been too long since she felt happiness. Thank you, everyone. Our story should have ended as a happy fairy tale. One that would have been remembered fondly for generations to come. But I ruined it all. I turned it into a story filled with pain and misery. Like most fairy tale? You called Greens for a reason, listen. But the story isn't over yet. I must continue writing it. Not just for myself, but for all of you as well. I promise that. The story we'll write from now on won't be one of failure, but one with a happy ending. We believe in you. Ah, well. Come, let's write a story. Bundle them up nice and tight, Siren. Ah, woo! It's a moment activates spin drift, which flies out and spreads widely amongst the enemy camp. Gather at the center. All the raptors who heard the secret command proceed to gather in unison at the center of the area. Let's do it, Gretel. Yes, the secret recipe. Um, tea, matter, bomb! Anti matter bomb, let's go! They're so happy, look at them, they're like, yeah! A ball of light emerges from Witch's Cauldron uh, and hurls itself toward the bunch up group of raptors. I didn't realize she had a little backpack. Upon impact, there is a blinding explosion, gargantuan in scale. That wasn't actually an anti-matter bomb, was it? Of course not. I just came up with a joke name that sounded cool. Don't scare me like that. Rocked right by the momentous explosion, the area is now littered with the remains of decimated raptures. Before long, however, additional raptures filled the empty space. Gretel, I think there are too many raptures. Don't worry. We can break through. Glass sleepers, full contact, shower them. Blue light dance and intertwine chaotically. The blue light shower upon the group of raptures with pinpoint accuracy, piercing straight through all their core. Having lost their power source, the raptures collapse lifelessly to the ground. What an amazing control. Ah. Amazing. Let's keep going. Once we get inside the lift, victory is as good as, good as ours. Alright, we can make it. No guardian level raptures detected. Since you're all expert at annihilating raptures, I don't foresee any major problems. A loud explosion rings out near the walls of the lift, followed by clouds of smoke. A red rapture leaps out from the plumes, changes its direction several times in mid-air, and lands in front of the group. At first, Abe is encouraged by the fact that rapture is fairly familiar in appearance to what they've encountered before. But after seeing a family red leg, she's shaken to her core. Red shoes. Are those red shoes legs? They've been modified to form a rapture. Ooh. You got your wish, red shoes. No, that's not it. You poor thing. The raptures were never interested in you, only your weaponry. How right is wrong? I'll take these red shoes which you never deserved and erase them from this world. Oh, damn! 
Pizza perfectly cooked in the supermarket, 100 kilometers away from the explosion. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. That's... That's sad. But, uh, that was fast. Santo Shurio. Santo Shurio. The red legged raptures move chaotically through the air. Damn you, stop flying around. So annoying. Stop now. Be gone. As the glass slipper's light pierces through the rapture, it extends its tentacles, which impale Cinderella. After this final attack, the rapture explodes, sending pieces flying every which way. Cinderella hastily cuts off the tentacle that pierces through her. Don't tell me this. Is meant to induce corruption. An invisible walls appear in front of Cinderella once again, beyond which she can see herself and her colleagues. You came back. And you brought your friends along too. Now let's go over your mission once again. You don't want to see your friends killed by your own hand, do you? State your mission, then you can be at ease. There is no time. Hurry. Cinderella looks at the version of herself beyond the wall and sees her friends looking back at her. Hansel and Gretel are running towards her. Siren is holding her face. Abe is grabbing her shoulders and shaking her. Cinderella looks into Abe's eyes and sees her own reflection. She sees herself staring blankly into space. Cinderella looks back into Abe's eyes and there she sees it. Yes, you've always been watching me. Your own goddess of victory. Yo! I won't allow myself to be tainted anymore. I have someone in my corner watching me. I have to be beautiful in their eyes. Be gone. The thought of you feels blighting my beauty. Sickens me. Let's go! The wall shatters. Cinderella, snap out of it. Damn it. Don't do this to me. We're so close. Wake up. Wake up. Ah! What's wrong? L you look like you're about to cry. Y but the corruption. What are you talking about? Don't worry. Your goddess of victory will never be tarnished. Oh, man. My heart can't take much more of this. Cinderella, are you okay? Of course. I'm fine. No matter what happens, I will never inflict any pain on any of you. Good. Let's go. The path ahead is clear. It's time to take down the queen. Everyone, keep your head on a swivel. There's no knowing what, my, what we might find inside the lift. <gasps> wow. So pretty. Mm, beautiful. No way you'd be riding this if you had a fear of heights. Kadal and I think it's strange. The walls we know it has changed significantly, but from here it looks as if not much has happened. You're right. Abe, how long until we reach the space station? Assuming that nothing goes wrong, we should arrive in an hour. That's fast. While it's technically a freight elevator, the speed is more akin to a shuttle. Is there something on your mind? No, not really. I'm just feeling confident that we got it right. The freight elevator is operating normally. If you look around, you can see all different sizes of scratches. So a theory that they use this to send the raptures down to the surface must be correct. They made at the space station and transported using the lift. So if things go south, if we just detach the space station... How about destroying the lift itself? That's essentially impossible. It's too big, and thanks to gluttony, the use of large-scale weapons is prohibited. Only small groups like us could have made this this far. Abe. Kat and I think it's a bit hot in here. Really? Could the temperature regulation system be broken? I'll check. Abe approaches the control panel. Actually, it's strange. It's not hot. It's burning. I have a bad feeling. Don't worry, Abe is looking into... A giant beam blasts through and vaporizes half the elevator. <gasps> the resulting drop in air pressure causes everything to shake violently. Abe and Cinderella instinctively cling to the wall. 
Half of the elevator has been completely vaporized, as if it never existed. The edge near where the beam hit a glowing of flaming red. Abe stares at the scene, dumbfounded. A beam attack from above. What? What the? Where did everybody go? Where are they? Han Hansel! Gretel! Siren! Where are you? Did they fall? Abe. What's going on? Pull yourself together. I'm sure everyone's safe. How could they be when we're this high up? They'll be fine. Oh, another beam strikes down on them. Another gaping hole is torn in the elevator. Abe is barely clinging onto the newly severed area. Abe, I'm coming. Abe shakes her head vigorously and steadies her gaze. Don't come, you'll get hit. This attack is from the Queen, I'm certain of it. She's armed with a high output beam weapon. If you use glass sleepers, we might stand a chance. So long as it's not destroyed entirely, the elevator will continue to ascend. Deploy glass sleepers and keep going up. What are you saying? If you think you can't win, detach the station. Send the Queen packing. That way you'll at least be able to cut off the supply route for the Raptors. We can win this. Wait, I'm coming. I say don't come. You have to go up. You need to continue the story. How can I do it alone? You can. You are my most beautiful goddess of victory. Now hurry and win. We'll all be waiting for you down below. No, that's not it. I'll be f I'll find you, no matter what happens. She did. What's the name of her ability already? Spoilers? Plot spoilers? I will come back to you victorious. That's the spirit. I believe in you, Cinder. Abe loses her grip and plummets down. Cinder like clenches her teeth. Damn. I guess I've arrived. Everyone, be safe. I'll win this for you and return home. Let's go. <gasps> oh, yes, queen! A blood spoiler, that's the name. Anime when? <laughs> of course. <laughs> what is that? That was a blue piece of equipment. We finally get to see the queen! Yo! <gasps> so cool. Yeah, she had a, she has a number, but I didn't see it goes too fast. Zero zero one, right? Q zero zero one. Oh, it's Queen number one, right? That music, though. I mean. It's pretty obvious that the raptures are man-made, right? Or at least the, what created the raptures was man-made. It's obvious. Yeah, pretty much. 
Jesus! Okay! <laughs> that mouse! Jeez, dude! Did she manage to fully destroy the space station? But just thank God she can regenerate. But the question is, like, how many space stations are there? Is that the only one? Or is that the only one they know of? Have they made... <gasps> Lily Wise! Oh my God. We still don't know what happened to her. It's so annoying. I really want to know. Can we know what happened to her, to her please? Like, we know she had a secret mission, and so she couldn't part of the... Like, she couldn't stay with the others. But we still don't know what happened exactly. It's me. We received orders from up high. What if she became a pilgrim? Um... From what we know, she she died. We saw her body. Um, we saw her dead body. Uh, but her head got stolen. That's what we know. Because um, she, she had a coffin in which she was like dead, lying. Uh, she the the body. She had a, a coffin in which she was lying dead, right? Uh, but eventually, the coffin was crushed and the head was gone. I think that's what we learned at the end of Overzone, when Dorothy went to see her body and uh, she saw that the body was destroyed and the body didn't have a head anymore. So what we can assume is that the Raptors went in and stole the head of Lily Weiss. Um, and to me, that means that they stole the head of Lily Weiss to make a new queen. That's what I think. This real information related to second generation Grimm's model. Yes, all of it. The second generation was a failure. Operation Art Guardian was a success. That we just need to seal the Ark. If it weren't for Lilywise, it would have been impossible. The operation succeeded, but we lost the Goddess of Victory herself. Morale is lower than ever. We can't allow such failures to continue to exist at such a pivotal moment. Now the Grimm's model can be allowed to fail again. They must be made examples of. I will leave it to you. My hands are tied. All I can do is wipe the slate clean. I don't know when it will be. If there ever comes a time where we can resume your stories again, my hope is that the newly cleansed slate will only contain beautiful stories. <sighs> Maybe so. Damn! Yo, that was so cool! Oh, everything is so pretty now. Oswald did nothing wrong. Yeah, the problem with Oswald is like he's he's stuck. He, th there's some things he has to do, but he's trying his best to work in between the cracks where he has a little. Like, every time there's a little bit of wiggle room, he'll do his best to actually, like, do something good for the Nikkeis. Like, to me, like, the... I, I was saying that, but, like, essentially, Anderson is the king in the light, and Oswald is the king in the darkness. They're both working together to try their best to, 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 to you know, do the Goddess of Victory is right, essentially. The middle of the area... Oh, my God! <laughs> There's a Goddess of Victory statue! <laughs> so cool, dude. So cool! Man! Oh, man! And another selector. And the mirror. Awesome. And not only the change, the old interaction, old, uh, old change, all the crystals, like even the small ones, or just like interacting with the character. Oh, you mean like those things? Yeah, I'll I'll do that later, cause um, right now I'm gonna do a little bit of the mini game, 
And then I'll be, I'll be switching to something else. But yeah, man, the story was so good. Dude, it was so good. And also now we know that the, we might find a way to find like uh, Little Mermaid, right? Because she mentioned Little Mermaid with Le uh, Levy. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. There's so much stuff going on, dude. Oh my god, I can't wait for more. Alright, I'm just gonna do my little dailies here. Um, cause I I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'll probably do like a lot of the the mini game at some point at once. Uh, but I I kind of wanna I kind of wanna wait to unlock everything to really properly go through all of that. So like every now and then I I do it like every day I do a little bit of progression, and I do my dailies essentially. Um, but eventually once I, everything's unlocked, I'll try to do everything at once, or like everything that's left at once. Uh, Nikki anniversary is like the meme of the drone, the high quality horse in segment, and segment is a story. I'm not sure what you mean. I think I know what you mean by the meme, but I'm not sure what it means in context. There's a huge plane flying low. Jesus. The new coon was a heretic though, as it says, get your original back. Well, we know who the, the new queen is. Like, currently we know for a fact who the queen is. Or at least one of them. Um, we've known since the, the kingdom events. I'm here? There's supposedly an entrance here. But apparently not. Um, the, I, I recommend you to play through the Kingdom event, which is the one with Crown and Chime. It's been added to the archive. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So play through that. It will get you a lot of very important lore. Um, it's very good. It's very fun. Uh, the story is great. You get to learn a lot about uh, what Marion has been up to. Uh, Modernia. And it gives a lot of very important information. So I definitely recommend that one. 100%. That would be my... Oh, you played it! Well, then you should know uh, who's the current queen then. Or maybe, maybe you missed it, to be fair. It's very possible. This time I need two types of data. The signal was split between above and below, so let's go look for them. Well, in that case, if you don't remember... If you don't remember... Um, the queen currently is Modernia. Um, that's what uh, Chatterbox said. He called her my queen. Like, literally. Um, because essentially, if you remember from the events, uh, Chatterbox and Divilia keep attacking. And at one point, at night, when everybody else was asleep, Modena went out to meet them both. And she was like, stop attacking right now. And like, Shadowbox was shook. And it was like, yes, my queen. You skipped the cutscenes? Fair enough. But, okay, well, now you know. <laughs> so it seems that Modernia is currently the queen. So I don't know to what extent or how exactly, or if there's multiple of them. But at the very least, when she gave the order, they said yes, and they left. So, there's definitely something going on there. Glass Sleepers, basic attack. Let's do that. Uh, uh, max HP increase, sure. And here, increase HP recovery. Am I allowed to ask a question regarding the end of the overzone? 
Uh, I don't know if I've done all of the endings, to be honest, because I was a little bit lazy, but I would need to go back and make sure. All right. Uh, I need more more gold. I don't I don't remember if I unlocked all of the endings. I, actually, I might have. You know what? Just give me a second and I will double check, okay? I need to play more Mog. I haven't played Mog in a while. I haven't really played it that much since they released it on uh, in the arcade. And the arcade does give some new rewards now, so I need to do it. There's a human and a cat in my kitchen just meowing at each other. It's very distracting. <laughs> no! There we go. I scream at them. <laughs> Arcade is always fun, yes sir. You did mention at least one of the queen. I, I don't know if there's several, I'm just saying what it could be. All right, let's see. Uh, inventory. So all of my dailies have been dealt with. I have one of those boxes. Let me open this up real quick. A folk wang. That's random. All right. And here I'm going to take a, a copy of Rapunzel. Boop. Okay, so let me check. Uh, outpost, I guess. There's pure gremlin energy. You know it. Uh, so let me see here. The thing I want to double check is... Oh, oh God, Jesus Christ. Look at all the stuff I have here. Alright, anyway, that was... Uh, overall, that was it for all tales. I'm certainly... I'm going to be looking at... Um, I'll keep playing all tales for sure. I'm waiting for... The hard mode is going to come out in about four days, right? Um, when it is out... I don't know if I'll stream it, but I'll definitely stream the last day of it, right? Because when the last day happens, we'll see the epilogue, and then I'll do the entirety of the minigame. So in, in about seven days, I'll do that. So you can expect me to just stream that. Uh, I'm very excited for it. I, can't, I cannot wait. 